I think it might be a good idea to finish the bonfire now. We could try to get that good done. Good boy. Yes. Good horse. You hate horses. What am I saying? You're right. I hate horses. <laughs> now make sure you take his saddle off. Right. Don't want to leave him all sweaty all day. Would that be like a game over if we did? I don't know. Is it? I'm curious, but I don't want to throw it so early. You could find out. No. No. Is this... this no. Okay. There you go. Let's go. Well, I guess we have to go put it back. Right. Is this electric guitar? Yeah. You know, just natural sounds of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Put old Sparky back. Old Sparky, put him back. Put him back. Thank you. Uh oh. I uh, better put that back. No. Jay Nash to Tex Britain. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jay Nash is Tex's sister. Lasso yourself a wild one, partner. I still can't believe you're a real live cowboy. Your little sister, Jane. You remember Jane, don't you? Yeah, she's like the crazy person, isn't she? She's yeah, like... who wrote a very angry letter when the Raleigh's fired her. Right. You still here? Oh. You sound surprised. You and your friends, if they ever show up, you ain't gonna last more than three days out here. They... Well, I hope you like surprises, Tex, because you're in for one. City folk can't take living out here. Too rugged. <laughs> Too much work. Too dangerous. Do we want to confront him about that? Yes. I, okay. I like living dangerously. I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? Mm -hmm. Did you know Treading that she lightly. used to work for the mm -hmm. Raleigh's? No, she didn't. What gave you that idea? Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In the Raleigh stuff? In my stuff? Now, now, Tex. I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Well, hey, that's Tex. <laughs> seemed to anger him. <laughs> hey, Tex, you want to talk some more? I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's busy. You don't say. All right, well, there is one last bundle of sticks somewhere in this yard that we need to find. This is literally going to drive me crazy. Maybe it'll just appear if we talk to people. Hello, Nancy. Mind our own business. Something I can do for you? Hmm. I talked to my friends, Bess and George. Their plane's been delayed. They aren't sure when they're going to get here. Sorry to hear that. Well, to be honest, I'm not, really. <laughs> Driving back and forth to the airport takes a lot of time, and time's one thing we're all running kind of short of around here. I'll let you get back to work. What? That's not what I meant to... Okay. Hello, Actually, Nancy. I just wanted to clear up Something all I can do for you? All right. Clear up all How of the How do you think that rattlesnake wound up in the Raleigh's bedroom? Probably crawled in through a mouse hole sometime during the day and took a nap. Nighttime's when they're most active. Something the Raleigh's found out the hard way. Now Could somebody have put it there? Guess it's possible. Person would have to know how to handle snakes, of course, but then if you work in the desert, that's one of the things that's good to know. Being a snake must be awesome. I think it was the same person who was causing all of those tornadoes. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> Take care. Yes. We never beat that one. No, we didn't, because the last puzzle really threw us for a loop. What even was the last puzzle? <laughs> Sung with a calendar. Uh, just, just, <laughs> just as a, a little fun fact, Kaylee and I got very close to beating Drill the Twister, and she was never really that observant as we played the game. <laughs> and at one point, infamously, she remarked, "So who's been causing all these tornadoes around here?" <laughs> and and um, it, is, it is now canon that in Drill the Twister, the the crime, the culprit, has been causing all the tornadoes. Yeah, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing else happened in that game. Yep. Hey, Shorty. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? I really pissed him off with those vegetables. Yes, Have you did. Have you ever met Mary Yazi? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets real unfriendly when the subject of the Rowleys comes up. Why is that? Mm. Just as unfriendly as you get when the subject of ripe vegetables comes up, Polly. <laughs> 
Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Raleigh's? Well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. You like to gossip, don't you? More than anything. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. Queen. People like Queen. you and I are fascinated by the human condition, that's all. So, who else do you want to talk about? Uh, nobody the really. Devil's radio, and boy, I sure like his station. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. God bless Shorty. He's so folksy and nice. When he's not talking about vegetables. Yes, exactly. Oh, here's some fun little box you might like. Ooh, I have a bunch of boxes like this. A bunch of recipes. Ooh. Adobe bread. Ain't that like Got Photoshop? It yeah. And Illustrator. <laughs> I've never actually gone through to read all these. My graphic design class is quaking. <laughs> First ingredients in a bowl and stir. Whole wheat flour, sugar, shortening, salt, yeast, warm water, bread flour. I don't speak italics. Vinegar pie. We're done. Shut this right now. We're getting out. <laughs> Shorty, I don't trust you anymore. Text was right. We're not going to last more than a day. <laughs> what was in here again? It was something above the, the, the birds. And stuff. You see, I wouldn't no, doubt. No, there was something else. There was something else there. Oh, sorry. I was I was thinking of what I was about to say. What not in, Not inside. Oh, the birds? Yeah. Yes. These are some a <laughs> hmm. hmm. Wait. Hey, I'm smart. So there's a clue to solve this puzzle. It's a clever kind of puzzle. Is it this clock? It is kind of the clock, but there's another clue in this room. I'll sit back and let you find it. Okay. I was going to say, I wouldn't doubt Mariazzi feeling spiritually connected to the land considering she's literally indigenous. <laughs> like, I'm what indigenous are you to Cleveland, Ohio, and this place just smells like trash. The lake is like 60% human waste. Well, yeah, and who made it that way? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Us. Okay, what time is this? This is like four. Oh, it says it. The numbers are right there. It's a broken clock. Yeah, exactly. So it says the hour is four. Uh, I like the colors on this clock. They always have. They're so pretty. Yellow, blue, pink. Oh, wait a minute. So if it's, it's color coordinated because there are no like hands on that stone looking clock thing. So it's the pink, yellow. I think it might be red instead of pink, but you, I don't know. You think? I, I'm not sure. You can make your second, second guess myself. <laughs> well, you've done this before. Yeah, but... So, the the light blue one, cyan, that's seven, 2 o'clock. And then... 1072. 1072. 1072. 1072. No! 1072. 1072. 1072. 1072. Um, what? Kaylee, that's... <laughs> never mind. No, if I'm being stupid, just tell me. It's, it's like military directions. It's not how many times you twist it. Oh. So, like, that's 10 o'clock right there, what you just did. Is it? Yeah. I don't know military directions. You know, it's, it's, it's like... It's the same as a clock? Yeah, like, dead ahead is 12 o'clock. So, if you if you point straight up, that's 12. Right, so what did I say it was again? 10, 7, and 2? 10, 7, and 2, yeah. Okay, so this is Maybe like... it's 10, 2, and 7. I think it's 10, 2, and 7. Going well, from ye left to right. Yellow was 2. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is 10. Wait, this isn't 10, is it? That is 10, because it's 1 above 9, which is directly to the left. And this is like already at 7, then. I guess so. So it's just... One more. Okay, maybe it is 12, 7, 2, and it was red. Maybe this isn't seven. Oh, 
Oh wait, no, it is. It's two seven. So the blue one should be two, and the yellow should be seven. Wow, we're we're really screwing this one up. <laughs> Hurrah! And that was red. Secret compartment. This doesn't look like it was ever opened. I'll be taking that. All right. If you want, we can sit through these. Oh my. So that's a fun puzzle coming up. Okay, well, give me that. Okay. Um, As usual, uh, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is going to happen to me. I will be fine, and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. There's another page. 1883. Yeah, so this, these are letters written to Francis Humber. I like Humber from your brain, because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours, and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not, and never will, hold what your father did to me against you. So this is actually kind of... A controversial point of the game there's a big debate in the community about whether or not the narrations of these letters is a good or bad thing because i'm sure you're about to find you're about to find a lot more letters and they narrate themselves they hired voice actors for all these diary entries and stuff and are they unskippable you can skip them if you want but oh well that was the problem some people just get annoyed by them because every time you pick them up sometimes you'll just start hearing a man speak Oops. to you Okay, well, that's definitely going to be relevant. Anyway. Start, no, 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 this is a simple puzzle. It's, uh, you start with four because it's stuck down. This is a, a big repeat puzzle you see in the franchise a lot. Oh, this is one of them? Yeah. So it's got nothing to do with the numbers. Yeah, it's just even numbers. Well, yeah, I figure there's going to be, like, another watch where we could, you know... Astute observation. speedrun killer puzzle it randomizes every time that must be Francis and her father Eldridge the sheriff she's kind of cute yeah diary of a wimpy kid July part 4th, 1882 no got sworn in as sheriff it was the fourth so it's like all them celebrations was for me <laughs> Which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back, give it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She's 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. A 17-year-old in the 1800s? Dude, she's practically middle-aged. <laughs> Herford Shoup come no, by. No, no, no. Click to the next page. That's why people get annoyed, because if you click on a passage, it'll repeat it. So. No. March 30th, 1883. Francis okay. has got a... Francis has got... Francis has got a... Francis has... Francis, 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 Francis has got a... We'll do this... <laughs> We'll do this another time. No, 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 this is important lore. We have to sit through it. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm sorry, but that's the rules. Okay. Otherwise, you won't understand the mystery. Okay. Do I ever understand the no, mystery? No, you don't. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do this. Francis has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays a piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. Hmm. Click on the next passage. No, yeah, I know. Um, I was and just... On the right, I know, I, was, I wanted to check back here because these are from 1881. 
These are from 1883, right? I can't yeah, 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 so... Homie waited two whole years to start writing in his diary again? I guess. <laughs> but also, that's interesting because that's when um, Mr. Dirk over here wrote that letter. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked hear just like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. Well, robbery's not that bad. I'm sure yeah. they can be fine. August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. It's not that bad. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. Oh, the, but yeah. that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money meant to pay miners a hard-earned wages. Um. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him when she hides from me. So he's not around. September 9, 1883. Nope. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw what there was going to me. So I got a posse, and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge. So oh! Most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more, and says she never will again. Well, damn, I hope she ain't. She would just kill her boyfriend. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis That's ain't the allowed we to see read. Dirk in jail, of course, and... If she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Francis's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. I read this, so. They hung Dirk at noon. Happy I music. I bad, <laughs> but I ain't. Francis took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget, Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I, I did what I done for her. I mean... No, I don't think that's how it works. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth. I miss her something awful. You killed her boyfriend! June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that. So it is my fault that it died. It's not your fault that only that died. <laughs> okay, I'm done. He was a criminal. But like Robert, seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. And I'll just have to find a way to live with it. Well, I feel bad for him. Yeah, and there's tears on the page. Yeah, I can tell. This is so sad. F. Let's remix his words. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I just invaded someone's privacy. You did. Get used to it. This is a Nancy Drew game. <laughs> well, now that we have all that glorious information i can't um, take any of this with me um no but i guess you don't need any of it with you you did take the one piece of paper that was in the envelope okay well as long as i could have that closed okay well now we know how to open the trunk at mary Yazzie's. it's uh it's got to do with finding three numbers and then configure them like a clock only we don't know what three numbers it is I haven't done that yet. Fill the bucket with water by the fire to put out just in case. Are you sure you haven't That's done that? Done. I thought we did. Okay. That's done. We, can't check, it's got can't a weird hitbox. That till it's done. That's done. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off till it's done. I haven't done that yet. Okay, so we need to find those sticks. Yeah. Like I know there's a lot of important stuff we could be doing right now, but that's like in the forefront of my mind. It bothered me that we couldn't find it last time. All right. Do you want me to help you look for them? Because it's hardly even a puzzle. It's just hidden objects. Yeah, I'll let you because I like I can't see things when they're right in front of me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go pick up some sticks. <clears throat> oh, 
Do you see? Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Are you joking? You're you're joking. You're In the shadow of the <laughs> All right, we got it. Okay, now we just gotta. Now we gotta build a fire. This is a certified Something Jack London moment. Something goes here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. The kindling no, first. No, the yeah. little no, crumpled no, no. up paper. Shut up. I got it. I'm a smart. I'm Your a smart. dad taught me how to build a fire. So far, so good. Didn't he teach you? Yeah, but I always erase it from my mind. That should do it. All right. One good looking fire. This ain't how we do it in the woods. There. One extremely well built mm -hmm. campfire, if I do say so myself. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job. Thank you. Now what? Okay. Well, I can chop that off. Yep. So, uh, I think we should ask Dave a bit about what he knows about the whole Francis That's Humber, done. Dirk Valentine That's legend. Done. Let's ask everyone we can about it. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that. Oops. Okay. Dave. We. That's him, right? Yep. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? Hmm. Well, treasure hunt... I mean, I know what I say doesn't really matter that much, but, like, treasure hunt makes it sound like it could be anything. But this explicitly says it's something valuable. The letter made it sound like Dirk was sending and I don't Francis want him to on have some kind of treasure it's hunt. All for me. <laughs> well, if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. Yeah, maybe. Except I'll let it's you not. Get back to work. See you later. I wonder if the chicken of doom is in, inside the chicken house. The chicken of doom? Yes. No, nah, he's gone. gone. We already got the eggs anyway. Yeah, I was just curious. Infamous chicken of doom. 